Good morning. And this morning what I want to talk about is how to game share on the Xbox. And this specifically relates to sharing games on two consoles that you've bought digitally. So say for instance I bought a game. I can actually install that game on my Xbox and then my son in another room, in his room upstairs, can actually have access to that game. Now, I've seen a few people do videos on this, but there's still a lot of confusion out there about how it works and what the limits are. So I'll get into that in a bit, but first things first, I want to just go through exactly how to set it up. Now, I'm downstairs at the moment on my console. And my console has to be set up in a particular way in order for this to work. So what you want to do is you want to go into settings. And then from settings, you want to go to your account. And then you want sign in, security and pass key. And there, if you look on that page, you can see in the middle there, near the bottom, it says instant sign in. Now, on my Xbox, I need to have it set up to instant sign in. Now, the reason for that is that if I'm automatically signed into this Xbox, anybody else who comes to sign into this Xbox can then use the games I've bought, the digital games I've bought. So that should work fine. So once you've done that and you've sorted that out, you would then need to go to the second Xbox. And so if we imagine we go upstairs to the second Xbox and we are then go into settings. And then from there, you want to go into settings, personalization, my home Xbox. Now, this is quite counterintuitive. As I say, we're downstairs on my Xbox at the moment. And if you look here, it says make this my home Xbox. Now, you don't want to do that on your Xbox. So if you're the main account holder, you don't want to have your main Xbox set as your home Xbox. Imagine again that we're upstairs with my kids Xbox and you would set that there. So you would go to your second Xbox, log on to the second Xbox, go into this setting and then select it and make that Xbox, the second Xbox, your home Xbox. Now, <laughs> as I say, this might sound a little bit counterintuitive, but the reason you do that is that then when my kid goes and logs on, he doesn't have to make sure that I'm logged on first in order to play any of the games that I have downloaded. So he will go upstairs, he will log on and he, he can just play to his heart's content. And I can come downstairs onto my Xbox and I can play to my heart's content as well. And we can even play the same games together. So if we wanted to play Fortnite or we wanted to play something like Titanfall together, we could, even though I only own one copy of the game. Obviously, this will only work with digital games. Now, there are some issues, as I mentioned earlier, with this. If, for instance, for some reason, my boy wants to play downstairs, he can. He can come in because I automatically log on to this machine. He can come in here and he can play on this machine. Even though it's not set as my home Xbox, it is set automatically to log me on. So he logs on. I'm still logged on in the background, but you can switch profiles. So he would go in and he would switch his profile and load up his profile. And then when he loads up his profile, he can play the games. And as I say, it all works perfectly fine. Where that becomes an issue is if he's playing downstairs and I then decide to go upstairs and play, if I then log on to the Xbox upstairs, it will log him off and he won't be able to play. So let's give you an example of that. If we go in and 
we switch profile and I log on with his profile. If he now goes into Fortnite and he starts playing Fortnite, and we'll just let that load up. And we're in, kind of. <laughs> and we go into Battle Royale. As you can see here, it's going in perfectly well. And he's in and he's playing. So he's downstairs on the machine downstairs. And as I say, I'm logged in in the background. So as you can see, it says sign out two profiles. And you can see there's two profiles there. There's my kids profile and there's my profile. If I went in upstairs and I decided to log in and play upstairs, this is what would happen. So we're going to do that now. So this simulates me going to another machine and logging on. And as you can see, it's crashed the game back out. And the reason for that is because I need to be logged into this machine in order for him to be able to play on this machine. And it could also happen if, for instance, I had a third machine. It gets very complicated if you've got a third machine. <laughs> you would go in, you would log on and it would do that. And we've had this when he's had friends around. I go in and I log on to play or we've set up one of his friends to play as me. And he's playing down here. His friend's playing upstairs. His friend logs on as me and it crashes the game out. So those are some of the issues that you need to take into account. But with those caveats in mind, it does work perfectly well. He can play on this machine. He can play on his machine upstairs. I can play on this machine. I can play on the machine upstairs, except for I can't play on the machine upstairs and, in, and he play on the machine downstairs at the same time. He would have to be upstairs. I would have to be downstairs. So it's quite a complex system when you start getting into more than two Xboxes. And I have made a video about this before saying I didn't think it was really fit for purpose. I would actually like to see it whereby you could have a system where I could be the main account holder and I could make any machines in any other rooms my subordinate machines so anyone could log on. As long as you're in the same house, I don't see why it's an issue. And it would be a lot more like the way Apple do things with, with their games and apps. But anyway, with that aside, it does work and this is how you set it up. So yeah, the, the only other thing I will say here is that obviously in order to do this, my account is set up on my kids account and I have set up some checks and balances to stopping being able to access certain things. So if you don't want that person who has access to the account to be able to get into it and use it for all things like, you know, downloading games, that kind of thing you may want to put some security measures in place as well. The other thing I will say is, please, whatever you do, I've seen videos talking about sharing with other people in, you know, other, you know, you could be a friend the other side of the country or even someone the other side of the world, presumably, you could do this with. I would counsel against that. I would say be very, very careful with who you share with. I'm happy sharing with my son. I would be happy sharing with my partner. I wouldn't be happy sharing with someone I just met on the internet. So, you know, if you're going to do this game share, make sure you do it with someone you can trust because people can, in effect, end up nicking your account. So anyway, all that being said, I hope this helps somebody. Uh, that's me done. I'm going to go and grab a cup of tea and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.